Hey, my construction entrepreneurs, this is Tyrone Jones with the Construction Entrepreneur School of Services, uh, where we're a school where we help small businesses succeed within their business, teaching them about estimating, learning about your labor burden, and also about how to charge the correct profit percentage and every other tool that you need to help grow your, your business. Uh, we also help individuals get their contractor's license here in the state of California. And this examination guide here is pertaining to the law and business section of the test, okay? Remind, remember, there's going to be two sections of this examination. There's going to be a trade, right? And then there's going to be a law and business. Now, the trade, we have done a handful of, and make sure you sus subscribe so you can get more trade ones, and we may cover the trade that you're going for pretty soon here. Make sure you leave a comment on your trade and what examination study guide you would like to like us to do next. Okay. Now this one here is the law and business. Everyone taking a taking an examination will have to take the law and business course. Okay. And let's get started with this here. The law and business section is divided into eight major sections. Okay. Eight major sections here is the law and business. Let's get this going here. All right, first section is business organization at 10%. And that's going to cover two sections, company organization and project organization. Okay, next is business finance at 15%. That's going to cover cash management, budget and planning, taxes, financial reporting. Next section is going to be employment requirements at 12% of the examination. And that's going to cover three sections here. Uh, employment regulations, evaluation and record keeping, and lastly, payroll. Now, number four is going to cover bonds, insurance, and liens at 10% of the examination. And that's going to cover bonds, workers' compensation insurance, liens and other remedies and other insurance. Next section is contract requirements and execution at 23%. And that's gonna cover bidding, cost control, contracts and payments. Next section would be licensing requirements. This will hold 8% of the examination and it's gonna talk about business licenses, contractor's licenses and activity regulations. Next section, number seven, at 15% of the examination is safety. And safety is gonna cover training and reporting requirements, general safety, hazardous and unknown materials. The last section is public works at 7%. They're gonna talk about prevailing wage requirements, binding requirements, and insurance requirements. Now mind you, all these percentages are approximate, okay? you may get higher percentages on these within these eight different sections but you will still be tested on these eight different sections okay next uh, test site policy this is a closed book examination no reference materials can be used during the examinations all materials brought to examination site will be left in a unmonitored area at your own risk so don't try to bring your cell phone. They will make you cut it off. Whether you say you need an emergency or not, it will be cut off. So you can either bring it or leave it in a car. It's up to you. Test strategy. Uh, it's a multiple choice examination with four choices per question. Okay. Examination questions are written to provide only one best answer. Some of the questions require mathematical, excuse me, calculations. A calculator will be provided. There is no penalty for guessing. You are, if you're unsure about a particular question, it's better to try to answer the question than to leave the question blank, okay? You'll be given plenty of time to answer all the examination questions. So be sure to read each question and its four choices completely and carefully before selecting the best possible question. Always remember that once you start, once you get into the test, the uh, uh, the computer system allows you to 
select questions that you would like to review later. So do not spend all your time on one question trying to figure it out. Set it to the side, come back to it later. Okay, that way you can save some time on this. All right, remember that. All right, let's go through some sample questions that, that, that would be typical on the examination, okay? You may find these questions on there, you may not, uh, because you may not get that, that uh, there, there's different types of, uh, uh, there's different law, uh, um, uh, law and business um, examinations. There may be three different ones that you can actually take, okay? So if you, want, if you want to try to answer these questions, then you can either wait until I uh, read the question or after I read the choices, pause the video, try to give a, a, a shot at it, and then play the video, see if you got the answer right, okay? All right, first one here. What information must be included in a stop notice? A, the construction loan terms, interest rate and deadline for project completion. B, the kind of labor, services, equipment, or materials furnished or agreed to be furnished. C, the type of zoning, setback, and lot coverage limitations on the permit. Or D, the type of asbestos, toxic fumes, or hazardous materials found. The answer is, B, the kind of labor, services, equipment, or materials furnished or agreed to be furnished. Let's go into another question that you may find on the examination. Within how many days must an agreement to arbitrate be returned by the participants after being mailed by CSLB register? A, within seven calendar days. B, within 10 calendar days. C, within 14 calendar days, or D, within 30 calendar days? Correct answer is D, within 30 calendar days. Next question. According to California license law, how often must safety meetings be held? A, at least once a week. B, at least every 10 working days. C, at least every 15 working days. Or D, at least once a month? Answer is B, at least every 10 working days. Here, on every examination study guide that we provide, we give you resources here. These resources are provided by the CSLB, the Contract and State License Board. It's recommended that you at least visit the websites, if not purchase literature from each of these resources. The only benefit, the, 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 the benefit that you can get from these is gaining more information to help you pass the examination, okay? Right now they say there's, I believe, um, uh, uh, three to five different law and business tests and then seven to nine different trade tests per classification, okay? So you want to try to get as much information as you can before that test date. Okay, so make sure you pause the video, get down these website informations here, and then um, make sure you uh, do your proper research. And most of the information you may find on those websites that you can kind of retain and learn from, and others you may have to purchase some type of reading material and, uh, and, 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 and carry on your studies such as that, okay? So this is the end of this actual study guide. Once again, this is the Law and Business Study Guide. And I wanna remind you to subscribe because we have more videos pertaining to uh, uh, growing your small business as a contractor, uh, learning new things. Uh, we do, you know, we teach you about how to build rates here, how to charge correctly, how to factor in uh, 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 your labor burden, your workers' comp percentage, and how to get exactly what you deserve out of each and every job and also how you get paid it makes no sense to be at this and you can't get paid so make sure you subscribe and check out check out our channel check out other videos and leave us a comment let us know if you want to see a certain type of video or you want to see a certain uh classification um, examination study guide, let us know what's your trade, 
what you want to see, and we'll go ahead and try to provide that. We always try to answer all the, all the uh, questions that's left. And my construction entrepreneurs, remember, hustle hard, then hustle harder. I'll let you go with that. Thanks for watching.